gone real quick because I'm looking like who did it and why and when and how. So the first step I'm going to do is just braid my hair. I don't do anything special when I braid it. I literally do just four big braids, like one on this side and then three going straight back. I usually leave a part like right here where my part is going to be before I braid it. I am going to slick these edges back. This is what my hair looks like when it's really time for it to be washed again. But I decided to go ahead and just give it a little break. So this wig has been my go-to as far as leaving my hair, um, leaving my hair alone. And when I put this wig on, I usually when I glue it down like I am today. I usually actually go like two, two and a half weeks um, actually leaving this wig on. So this wig is definitely a winner in my life. So that's all I do whenever I slick my edges back. I just use the mixed chicks from, I got this from Target and it's a um, styling tamer. I showed this to you guys in my straightening my natural hair video. Um, yeah, so next step, I am about to just braid it really quick. Um, I am not a professional braider at all. I actually just taught myself recently how to braid my hair. Um, I don't like to braid, so that's why I never really learned how to do it. I'm going to speed this process up. One braid on this side going straight back. The rest of the braids kind of go in diagonal to the back. Three big braids diagonal going to the back. braids going on I am going to spray them with the got to be glued blasting freeze spray and this is just gonna help um, keep the braids and in, intact while they're underneath I got this spray from a friend left this at my house and you know when your friend leaves something it's hard to give it back so I'm still waiting for her to come get it but it was $7.99 I'm pretty sure she got it from the beauty supply store because it got the little orange sticker which means it's from the BSS the beef supply so and then we are going to take where is my wig cap I'm all over the place here we go all right so now we're going to take the wig cap this is the one also came from the beef supply so about a dollar and 40 some cents I think and we're just going to put the wig cap over the braids nothing fancy but I just make sure like all of the hair is covered except for the front part right here so what now oh so let me introduce you guys to Nancy this is Nancy this is like my best friend she has been so good to me she is so loyal I can trust her at any time she never leaves me and she's always just there for me I really love this wig guys when I glue my wigs down I put the glue right here at the front um, but before I do that I go ahead and actually put the wig on so that I make sure it's right before I glue it down so it does have the elastic band and then I pull see this I pull everything back and that's about where the part is so I look cute I look good <laughs> All right, so now it's all about the glue. Now, as far as gluing it, what I do is I pin it, take it and I pin it back. Pin this side back. All right, I think we're good. Now to glue it, I am using the Got To Be Glued Styling Glue from the Beauty Supply Store. And this is actually the best one. I've used the Gorilla Glue and it didn't hold as well as this one did. Um, so I just take a toothbrush and 
I start by gluing down one side, putting the glue on one side, and I put it all on the edges. And um, I know people are concerned about like if the glue takes out your hair and your edges. I've been doing this, like I said, since June, July. I do put this look on like every month to give my hair a break or so. And I've never had any problems as far as it taking my edges out because you have to be aware of how you are removing the wig and removing the glue. Alright, so this is all I do as far as gluing it down, just glue this side. That is what it looks like whenever I'm done putting the glue on. I have the glue along the perimeter of my head and now the important part before you stick the wig on is to blow dry it. You don't want to blow dry it all the way, um, but you need to blow dry it so that it's sticky enough so that the, when you put the wig on, the lace sticks to the glue. Don't use super hot heat. I usually use either medium or cool because if it's too hot, then it's just going to melt the, melt the glue and it's not going to stick. touch it and it's sticky I'm gonna actually go and lay down the wig so we're just gonna take it and lay it down exactly how you had it you don't want it to be too far on your forehead because then it looks fake so we're just laying it down and the next step is while it's on like this, taking that blow dryer on low in a cool setting and like blow drying it. So this is gonna help the, the glue to actually dry. pretty good what I'd like to do now is tie them down I like to tie them down just to set everything um, so I just take a scarf now that it is tied down um, since I did wash this wig and I let it air dry it's kind of frizzy looking so I'm just gonna smooth it out while the edges are tied down I did put a little bit of um, hair serum on it but I'm just going to use a little bit more. But other than that, I don't use any products really on, the, on this wig. Alright, so we're just going to speed this up. take off the scarf and then everything should be nice and flat on top Ooh, yep and let me see where I usually part my hair it's usually about here so yep that's it and actually when I got this wig I did bleach the knots and I like customized the edges um, or the baby hairs so that actually helped a lot too with it looking natural. One of the last steps that I do now is I just um, 
put some, I use concealer. I know people use um, foundation powder or setting powder or whatever. But I use concealer because that's what works for me best. I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Cool Tan. And I am dabbing some on my on the tip of the brush. And I'm just going to make a little part. You just dab, 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 dab. When I first started wearing this wig, people were like, your hair, I love your hair. And they did not believe that this was a wig. And then whenever I wear my real hair, they be like, oh my goodness, you cut your hair? Nah, fam. Hop on the wig life. Because it will change your life. Do a little more. You don't want to overly do this part because you don't want the parts to be like, whoa, like Moses parting the Red Sea. Like, you know, you want it to look real natural. You feel me? We're getting there. Yeah, so we back. We are back just like that. So yeah, this is all I do whenever I install my wig. I know everyone does theirs differently. This is how I do mine. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and like and subscribe. Yeah, that is all that I have. So I will talk to you guys later in my next video.